Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a geometry of a mixing elbow in Salome for using in open form. Salome is a very powerful tool for creating geometry and mesh to be used in both CFD and FEM. But for me, I will only use it for open form and okay. in Salome we have three like main modules shaper geometry and mesh shaper is a very powerful parametric uh, geometry module and I will use it to draw uh, the geometry for, for now so the first thing is to create the part a new part click the part new part the second is we want to create a sketch so the idea is to create uh, draw a sketch of this line and as a line and we will uh, extrude a circle along this line okay so we will create a sketch and we need to choose a sketch the, uh, the plane for our sketch and I will choose the exact plane and click the set plane view okay now we are all set now I'll draw the line okay that's it and I want to create a fillet to create this 90 degree band and to create a fillet this is the one we need to click okay now we have the fillet and now we need to assign the dimensions and uh, we, we need to manage the uh, constraints so let's go ahead and assign the dimension and this is two meters uh, radius and in, in the there's only radius uh, so we need to we always need to convert from diameter to radius if the drawing is in diameters and here is uh, a line is not vertical so we need to make it vertical so so this one now we have the vertical line and now we need to Find the legs. So the horizontal and vertical. Okay. Now we can see that the sketch is green. So we can say that our sketch is fully constrained. So there is no problems. If we constrain for now, it will be over constrained. It's not good. Okay. So we will click apply and and the sketch okay now we have the, our sketch and then we need to create the circle to be extruded along this sketch so let's draw the circle and to draw the circle we need to first create a plane perpendicular to this line at this point so we need to uh, create this plane from construction and we can choose this line and point okay and we define the line as here and point as here but we need to click this perpendicular so that it will be perpendicular to this line and point okay now we have the plane so this is our plane and we want to create another sketch draw a circle and assign the dimensions 3.5 meters so it's green okay click ok okay now we have our circle and we can extrude along this line but one thing we need to do now is to create a wire 
from this sketch. I don't know why, but Saloma Shaver wants us to use the wire. And I will construct for now wire. And the input will be our sketch one. Okay, this line. And we will get our wire. So the wire, this one is only the setting. We need to be careful. And here is the our wire. This is only the setting. This is the object we created. Okay, these are two different things, and we need to be careful. So we will extrude this one, and the command is in features. This is pipe. Okay, and base object is this sketch you can click the sketch but it's better to click this like this because it will uh, tell shaper that our object is not uh, it's a solid not a shell and for the pop object we will click the wire and just click apply and we get our object and another one we need to draw is this uh, small inlet okay so I will uh, create the inlet so I will draw a circle around here and extrude it up one so I will need another plane so this time I will use the previous plane plane one two one yeah I will move it to here and I will, it means I need to construct a new plane from this old plane and this is uh, by other plane and I need to choose by other plane and click the plane to or this okay and now the distance is it's not 10 it's like 5.5. .5. Yeah, it's set. And now click OK. And here we go. I will. I have uh, plane two. So I click plane two and create a new sketch. And click this plane view. OK. But the plane itself is OK. An obstruction. So I will. Now I have the point for my circle center and I can draw the circle and give the dimension of 0.25 meter diameter okay. click okay now I need to extrude this vertically and it's easy just use this uh, extrude this one not this previous pipe this one is easier just click it okay and you, you can choose the direction this direction or this direction so the the direction is wrong so I will move it to another direction and the length is like four maybe three yeah whatever is okay because we will uh, fuse this okay now we have the click apply and we have the object but these are two objects pipe and extrusion so I want to combine these two so the command is here fuse the features I don't know why but the most useful uh, commands are in this feature uh, menu so you should read this very well Okay, let's uh, select the uh, objects by shift clicking okay, and you click remove intersection intersection edges and just click it and we have our uh, object okay so let's go ahead and save it for now and okay let's save Okay, I 
now save the project file. So I need to define the name of the patches to be used for meshing. So let's go ahead and do it. And to name it, we need to create this features group. Okay, and just click this faces and use name inlet one okay and click this one okay so this uh, surface will be inlet one so just click this apply and continue and another inlet is inlet two apply and continue and this will be outlet And the red faces are, I think, this one. Okay. And just click apply. Now, in the results, uh, no, 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 not results. In the groups, we have these uh, faces. The result is a volume, and uh, the groups, we have the inlet 1, inlet 2 outlet and okay group 4 group 4 is walls I need to rename it so I can click these are the properties these are the objects so I can click these to change the name here not to edit something we need to click here and right click here and edit and these are objects so we need we cannot edit now okay now we have our inlet one two outlets and walls and we have the fuse and everything is all right so that's for today now next time i will show you how to create the mesh to be used in open form by using salome mesh geom uh, mesh module thank you very much